federal safety regulators this morning were investigating the first deadly crash involving a self-driving car. Joshua Brown was using the autopilot feature on his Tesla Model S in May when he was killed in a Florida highway collision. Brown posted this video to YouTube last year showing the car's ability to avoid an accident. His death raises big questions, not just about Tesla's autopilot. Chris Van Cleve shows us the new focus on the wider push for self-driving technology. He is in Washington. Chris, good morning. Good morning. Tesla is acknowledging the government investigation into this, fed, into this fatal crash. Now, the investigators from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration are going to look at the Tesla Model S sedan as well as the autopilot feature. They're going to look at the performance and development of that program. Well, I'm going to do it with my hands down here. <laughs> Joshua Brown was enthusiastic about his self-driving Tesla Model S sedan, as seen in a series of videos posted to his YouTube page. Get to your destination slightly slower, but hey, at least now you don't have to worry about anything. It's just, just let it go. But in May, the former Navy SEAL's Tesla collided with a truck on a Florida highway. According to the police report, the truck pulling a semi-trailer made a left turn in front of Brown's Model S. The Tesla's roof struck the underside of the trailer and passed underneath it and didn't stop until it passed through two fences and hit a pole. In a statement, Tesla confirms the car's autopilot was activated and says neither autopilot nor the driver noticed the white side of the tractor trailer against a brightly lit sky, so the brake was not applied. If the system cannot see, it's going to think it has a clear path. So. Uh, that's where the human comes in to sort of be a second check for the computer and just sort of hit the brakes accordingly. Tesla CEO Elon Musk demonstrated autopilot for Carter Evans two years ago. Now it'll change lanes for me and then brake. I'm not touching anything. Since 2014, California has been keeping track of accidents involving self-driving cars. It's counted a total of 15, but none were fatal. Tesla says the Florida accident marks the first known fatality in more than 130 million miles of driving the Model S in autopilot mode. Well, I think consumers need to be reassured that this is a safe technology, and if that involves more testing from Tesla's end, that's something they need to take a look at in order for people to feel more comfortable with using it. Now, Tesla stresses that the autopilot feature is not a truly autonomous or self-driving car feature. In fact, the company says drivers are required to keep their hands on the wheel and need to be prepared to take over at any time. The NHTSA investigation is preliminary and will likely take several months at the very least. And the police investigation into that fatal crash is still ongoing. Nora? More to find out. Chris, thanks for that great reporting. Thank you.